Good morning. We hope you're doing well today. Pastor Vern here, and we are just about ready to read the Word of God today from 1 Peter chapter number 1. 1 Peter chapter number 1. So if you would like to follow along with us, go ahead and grab a Bible now and uh, get ready. Turn it to 1 Peter chapter 1 and prepare our hearts as we get ready to read the Word of God here in just a moment. Good morning, Tyler. Good to see you. We appreciate you so much. Praying for you. God bless you, brother. Hopefully a couple of more folks will come online here in just a moment. We want to remind you of our midweek service tonight at the Free Gift Gospel Mission. We are a Bible-believing, independent, New Testament church preaching the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what you're going to hear when you come to the Free Gift Gospel Mission. We preach the Lord Jesus Christ as man's only provision and hope for salvation. If you're going to get to heaven, you've got to go in by the door. And John chapter 10 tells us who the door is. It's none other than Jesus Christ himself. None other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Save the sweet matchless eternal name of Jesus Christ alone. Trust Christ alone for your salvation. So come on out and be with us tonight. Brother Johnny Copas will be preaching, good Lord willing, at 7 o'clock. Uh, the address of the church is in the uh, um, description box there by the video. We welcome you to come and be with us. Also want to mention homecoming is this Sunday morning, April the 29th at the Free Gift Gospel Mission. Our service will start at 10 o'clock. Phillips and Banks will be there uh, as our guest singers. Uh, so come on out and be with us for our homecoming service. And also, while we're waiting for hopefully a couple of more folks to come online, we want to mention our National Day of Prayer services. The National Day of Prayer this year is on Thursday, May the 3rd. There will be two services on this day at the Free Gift Gospel Mission. And uh, the first service will be at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, this will be the third year that we've done the 10 a.m. service on the National Day of Prayer. So please mark this on your calendar, Thursday, May the 3rd at 10 o'clock in the morning. If you don't have to work, come on out and be with us. Um, this will be the third year, as we said, we've done this twice before, and we've had uh, 10 or 12 people show up each year. And uh, I think that's wonderful, but I'd love to see that grow. Uh, I know a lot of people have to work, and it hinders the attendance, uh, and we understand that. And, and that's, that's all well and good. If you've got to work, you go and do your job. But if for some reason maybe you're off on this day or you're available to come and be with us, come on out and see us. Uh, it would be a good opportunity for maybe some of our brothers and sisters from other congregations to come and spend some time with us on Thursday, May the 3rd at 10 o'clock. But that's only the first service. There will also be a second service on this day at uh, 7 p.m. Brother Earl Hulse will be preaching in that service, and the Montgomerys will be there to sing, and it will be a special benefit service uh, for our church building fund. We don't have a fellowship hall at the Free Gift Gospel Mission. We've never had a fellowship hall, and uh, we have need of one, uh, not only for our church uh, members to get together and have meals and functions and programs, but we are a church who is active in the community, and we are serious about spreading the gospel in the community and around the world, outside of the four walls of the church, and it would be very needful uh, and beneficial to help us to minister to other folks. Uh, so we have started the ball rolling on this process a long time ago. It's been a process because when we first um, came to the property where the church is located now, we were told that you can't have a fellowship hall. You'll never be able to build one. Well, we didn't accept that. And we began to dig and study and search. And we uh, discovered, of course, they won't tell you these things, but we discovered uh, that if we did a survey and combined the two parcels of land that the church had into one parcel of land, it would do away with some boundary lines and things that were causing us some problems. And to make a long story short, after several years of this process, uh, we have now made it to the point where uh, we've hired an architect. He's, he's got the, the blueprints finished, and uh, They've already been submitted to the city. Everything has been passed and approved. And now all we need to do is raise some money uh, to get this done. And as we said, uh, on Thursday, May the 3rd at 7 p.m., we're going to take up a special offering for anyone who would like to help us with the building fund. 
it would certainly be appreciated. Uh, you know, it's going to go, it'll be used for God's glory. And uh, it's certainly something that's needful. Just for example, uh, we've got homecoming coming up this uh, Sunday morning. And since we don't have a fellowship, all we always have to go somewhere else and try to rent a facility to have our homecoming meal. And one year we rented the facility and we got there and the doors were locked. And uh, we had all these people standing there with food trying to get into the place where we could have our homecoming meal. And it was a nightmare uh, trying to get somebody to show up to unlock the door for the facility that we had already paid for and rented. And uh, of course, if we had our own fellowship hall, uh, a pastor wouldn't have to worry about all that headache. Uh, and that's just one example. Our downstairs at our church where we have a couple of Sunday school classes, it floods every time it rains and it's just a lot of work to go down there and suck all that water out. We've got sump pumps and they just can't handle it. And, and of course, this fellowship hall would help us to at least have an option on those days because we've actually had to cancel Sunday school a time or two because of flooding downstairs. And this would help us to at least have an option to move those classes to the fellowship hall uh, where we wouldn't have to cancel Sunday school. So I could go on and on and on about why this is needed, uh, but we're just trusting that God's people will get behind us and, and help us with this. So Thursday, May the 3rd, we invite you to come be with us 10 a.m. and 7 p.m any or all of our services, we welcome you to come and worship with us at the Free Gift Gospel Mission. And uh, I did see Carolyn come on there, and uh, we certainly have been praying for you, Carolyn. We will continue to do so. And I saw uh, Brother Jay's unspoken request. We'll certainly remember you, Brother Jay, uh, and, and that request. We know God knows all about it. Good to see you all. I see Kathy and Karen. Jamie, Marnita, Pastor Jeff, God bless you all. Does anyone else have a prayer request that you would like to mention? If you do, just uh, comment there in the comment section, and we'll add that to the list. Uh, so go ahead and do that if you do have a prayer request, and I'm going to just start reading off some of these names, and then we'll pray, and then read from 1 Peter chapter number 1. We need to remember Mark Harrison today. Uh, Jay Bradley and his family, Dwayne Childress and his family. We want to remember Brother Michael Parker, Ruth Heights children. We're praying today for Robert Etherton, Brenda Peake's family, Mitch Roberts and his family. Uh, we're praying today for Richard Samples. I see that request, Kathy. God bless you. We'll certainly remember you in prayer. We're praying for Dream of Fields. Uh, Tammy Overby and her family, especially Tammy's little grand, grandbaby. That grandbaby of Tammy's needs a touch from the Lord, so let's pray for her today. Lindy Baldwin, Donnie Watson with cancer. Um, we're praying for Tommy Cook and his family. We're praying for James Osborne and his family. Lisa Crowder and her family. Let's remember Ruth Greer and her grandbaby. We're praying for Tyler. I see that request for Henry, Carolyn. We'll continue to pray for him. We appreciate that. And uh, Karen Cleek has requested prayer for Jamie Lawson. I see that, Karen, and I'm adding Jamie's name to the list right now. Marnita says, praying for our needs in the church and for all of our church family, and especially for me and my family. Thank you, Marnita. We definitely need those prayers. We want to remember Larry Hood Jr. today, Billy Wayne Arrington, Judith Hoyt, Wanda Belcher. We're praying for Jeff Largent, Mark Fink with heart complications, Gerald Foster, Vicki Fuller, Lisa Tallman. Let's remember Roger Gardner and Lakin is having some pregnancy uh, complications. So let's remember her, Darlene Bowles, Brenda Pike. Debbie Bradley. Let's remember the folks at True Gospel Baptist Church and Pastor Dean Presnell out in uh, on the Gap Creek Road in Elizabethan. We're praying for Brother Charles's brother Kenneth. Let's remember Rhoda today in prayer. If you've got any more prayer requests, just drop them in the comments box. Let's remember Jean France today. We're praying for Amber, Tom Cockle Reese, the Broyles family. 
And of course, Carolyn, Klaus, we're praying for you. Baby Madeline, we received a request to remember baby Madeline when we pray. Uh, my cousin down in South Carolina, Carolyn Crosby and Robbie Crosby. And of course, we mentioned Henry and uh, Jamie Lawson there. Okay. I don't see any other prayer requests coming in. So at this time, let's go to the Lord in prayer. And then we'll look to the word, open our Bibles and read uh, from 1 Peter chapter 1. Let's pray at this time. God in heaven, we thank you today for all that you mean to us. We thank you, God, for your sovereign works among men in this world. We thank you, God, for your saving grace and your abiding spirit and your word, which is quick and powerful and sharper than any, any two-edged sword. I pray today, God, for the viewers who are watching right now, that your hand of blessing and protection would be upon them. I pray, God, for each name, God, today that we have called off that is on this prayer list, Lord. I pray, God, that you'll give them grace. I pray, God, that you'll give them strength day by day. Prayer is a commitment. Prayer is about dedication. Prayer is about faithfulness, Lord. We know that you have a plan and you have a purpose, and prayer works on us. And it helps us to be the God-glorifying people that we need to be. Uh, as well as helps uh, in other situations as well. So we're thankful to know this today. And we know, God, that in order to be obedient and faithful and committed followers of Christ, we must pray and we must be persistent in prayer. Lord, we've got a lot of sick folks who are on this prayer list today. I pray, dear God, that you will be with them, that you will touch them. We know that you are the great physician. You are the one uh, who provides healing today. And we lift these folks up before you today, God. And I pray, Lord, for those who may be lost, unregenerate. Ne they've never been born again. I pray, Lord, that the Spirit of God would speak to their heart. And that they would repent and believe the gospel. And trust Jesus Christ alone for their salvation. Not self, not others, not human philosophies and ideologies of men. But Christ alone. And we know that you are a perfect Savior. Bless the reading of this word today, dear God. May it go forth and touch lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. All right, good morning, Robin. Good to see you all. Okay, we've got several folks watching right now. If you would, as always, we uh, do appreciate uh, those who share the video. Uh, not for my glory i couldn't care less if anybody knows my name or who i am uh for that matter all we're interested in is getting the word of god out that's why we just read the word of god daily we don't even add our opinion to it on these videos um it's all about the word so if you'd like to help us spread the word and you believe the word of god is powerful to impact lives a share would be greatly appreciated today let's read from first peter Chapter number one, here the word of God says, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the uh, strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen ye love, in whom though now ye see him not, Yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, 
searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven which things the angels desire to look into Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, and be sober, and hope to the end, for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who by him do believe in God that raised up, raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth throughout the Spirit, through the Spirit, excuse me, unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of the grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away, but the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. God bless the reading of that word. That is First Peter chapter number one in the word of God and we will continue tomorrow good Lord willing with first Peter chapter 2 again thank you for sharing this Kathy we appreciate that again we want to invite you to come and be with us tonight at the free gift gospel mission brother Johnny Copas will be preaching at seven o'clock you pray for the man of God pray that God will anoint his lips and give him the message that we need tonight and come ready to worship amen we need a lively midweek service to give us strength to come into the house of God, to be filled up that we might go out and face the rest of the week. And that's what we're praying for tonight. And, uh, you know, you may hold the key. So come in, be ready to testify, be ready to exhort one another, be ready to encourage one another as the word of God commands us to do. And uh, please share this video. Remember homecoming this weekend at the uh, free gift gospel mission i'm going to drop the events page link in the comments box again here in just a moment if you are going please click that you're going if you're interested in going click that you're interested in going that way you'll be reminded as the event approaches we're looking forward to homecoming remember the national day of prayer thursday may the third two services at the free gift gospel mission one at 10 a.m and one at 7 p.m that evening. We're out. God bless you. See you tonight at church. Take care now.